Gozer the Gozerian. She may have only been on screen for three minutes, but the deity's presence certainly leaves a lasting impression. I'm going to show you how I made my Gozer costume. It's very detailed, but the details are what makes this costume. That's Gozer from Ghostbusters on the left, and obviously me on the right. I used a lot of supplies for this costume, and you can see a full list in the video's description. I'm going to begin with my largest bubbles. I'm using silver metallic spandex, Jacquard's fabric sculpting medium, some balloons with barely any air, and rubber bands. I cut the fabric into a circle, dip it into Jacquard's fabric sculpting medium, and smooth it over the balloon, securing it with a rubber band. Then I repeat this process about 20 more times and allow them to dry. They sat about three days. It is a messy process, but it's it's worth it. Next I will use Jacquard's metallic white airbrush paint to lighten the bodysuit. Gozer isn't really white, nor is she the weird color of this bodysuit. She's somewhere in between, so I'm just going to lighten it up a bit. You don't have to be skilled with an airbrush for this project. Just try to cover the whole thing a couple times. The end result is a slightly iridescent cream. You can see the original color on the inside there. Now I will not be using glue guns for the traditional purpose of sticking things together. I'm going to make some webbing. Gozer's costume has many, many transparent layers, one of which seems to be sort of cobweb-like. So using a glass surface and some hot glue, I'm going to make several little webs. They will catch the light nicely and add an element of intrigue. Simply layer hot glue on the glass and peel it off. I made mine look a lot like a cobweb, but you could really just make it go in a circular shape or and layer it upon itself. Anything organic looking, really. Voila! A weird deity web. Let's check on our metallic bubbles. You will know when the medium is dry because it will be hard to the touch. Now we just need to remove the rubber bands and the balloons. If there's a little bit of resistance, you can always cut the balloon out as well. These will be used as the largest bubbles in my costume, and I will also be using ping pong balls and some large bubble wrap. Of course, I want all of my bubbles to look consistent, so I'll be airbrushing them as well. Again, you don't need to be skilled with an airbrush for this. Um, it's pretty easy. I will again be using Jacquard's metallic white airbrush paint, but I will also be using Jacquard's Pearl X. This is a stunning powdered pigment that can be mixed into any paint, glue oil, or resin. Simply put some into your paint and mix it until smooth. The pigment powders do vary slightly, so you may come across one that doesn't travel smoothly through your airbrush. However, the four colors I used worked well. I used Duo Violet Brass, Duo Red Blue, Duo Green Yellow, and a hint of Super Russet. Again, they are listed in the video description. Your balls are likely to roll around as you airbrush, so I recommend using a disposable basket to hold them or just letting them rest on some cheesecloth, which we will use later. Trim around the bubble wrap and make some interesting shapes. And then we have all of our materials ready. The end result are these really lovely spheres that look kind of like pearls, kind of like bubbles. Um, certainly something fitting for a 1984 deity. I'm going to begin gluing things together using Jacquard's Lumiere 3D as a glue. I believe it is labeled as a paint, but it is the most reliable fabric glue I have ever found. It works much better than many alternatives. And it comes in a wide variety of colors. I'm using the pearl color here. So it's got a little shine to it. So now I have my pearl-like bubbles, my webbing, my bodysuit. 
I'm going to put these together with some distressed cheesecloth and a few sequins using Jacquard's Lumiere 3D as the glue. I stretched my bodysuit over a dress form and began layering using my materials in Lumiere 3D. If you don't have a dress form, you can just stretch your suit over cardboard. Just remember that you want it to maintain its stretch. You don't want to glue so many things on it that it doesn't stretch and you can't get in and out of it easily. This is a very detailed costume, but it isn't a difficult one to make. You don't need to know how to sew. You really just need to know how to barely blow up some balloons and glue stuff. Jacquard's Airbrush Paint and Pearl X do give the costume its sparkle and really bring this costume to life. But this was my first time using an airbrush and it was really easy. I encourage all Ghostbuster fangirls to go make a Gozer costume for your next convention.